Hello, everyone. My name is Vitaly Kumov. I'm from Cisco Thousand Eyes. And today I'm happy to share with you our experience with gRPC and OpenTelemetry. In this session, we will discuss how we use these technologies to power our data streams to enhance performance and scalability. But before we get started, let me introduce myself. I'm a senior software engineer at Cisco Thousand Eyes. I have more than 15 years of experience in the IT industry. For the past seven years, I specialize in software development, bringing strong networking background to my role. I'm a proud holder of uh, CCA certification, if you know what it is. And uh, currently I reside in beautiful and sunny Portugal, uh, and in my spare time, I enjoy making some furniture. <clears throat> Here is a quick agenda for today. First of all, I will make a quick introduction into Cisco Thousand Eyes, uh, providing you with clear understanding of what it is and what we do. Then we uh, discuss briefly OpenTelemetry, a powerful observability uh, framework and a key component of our observability strategy. And at the end, uh, I will guide you through how we use uh, gRPC and OpenTelemetry at Cisco Thousand Eyes. So let's get started. Cisco Thousand Eyes, what it is. For those who are not familiar with, Cisco Thousand Eyes is a network intelligence platform that provides insights uh, into applications and network performance both inside and outside of your enterprise. The IT landscape has changed fundamentally. It used to be that everything uh, was uh, within enterprise perimeter. You had applications uh, hosted in data centers. <clears throat> your workers were located in uh, branch offices, uh, managed network connected all those things and you had tools at your disposal if something went wrong. But that's not the case anymore. In today's networks, applications are becoming more modular. Everything is moving to cloud. Uh, workers are hybrid or remote as of now. And best of breed API services are a norm. Because of that, networks are everywhere. You as an enterprise need to be able to connect your applications and users over any networks. And the internet has become the underlay of uh, enterprise today. So it is very different environment comparing to the traditional environment today. Uh, the challenge uh, with this uh, new paradigm is uh, <clears throat> is that it requires visibility. But everything outside of your enterprise is a big black box. You, uh, you just don't know if it is a service provider or if it is application itself or if it is edge service, you just don't know. And uh, it requires incredible amount of resources just to determine the issue. Or you may not find out the problem at all. But it's not, a, uh, only about troubleshooting. It's also about uh, knowing where to make an investment, uh, uh, where to optimize uh, your networks or applications, or way to pay down your technical debt. So with today's networks, visibility is a must. So how does Cisco Thousand Eyes address those challenges? Imagine a present day uh, enterprise network with multiple enterprise sites, applications running in uh, public clouds and uh, multiple SaaS applications being used. To monitor such diverse environments, Cisco Thousand Eyes provides agents. Agent uh, is a software instance uh, which actually perform monitoring. And uh, Cisco Thousand Eyes provides two types of agents, enterprise agents and cloud agents. Enterprise agents uh, reside within uh, enterprise network. Uh, those are controlled and managed by enterprise administrators. 
And uh, usually those agent, uh, agents are Linux virtual machines. Uh, cloud agents, on the other hand, are located in uh, public clouds. Those agents can be used by anyone who is using uh, Thousand Eyes platform. And uh, those agents are controlled bo by Thousand Eyes. Agents allow users to execute a variety of uh, layered uh, monitoring tests to gain insights uh, in, into applications and network performance. Uh, users can create uh, different types of uh, tests, such as, for example, DNS tests, BGP, network tests, web transaction tests, and many others. Those tests then are executed by agents periodically as user configures. And uh, test results are reported back to uh, Thousand Eyes platform where they are processed and analyzed. Such approach uh, allows us to gain visibility into various aspects of uh, application delivery and network performance. And here you can see a uh, a screenshot of uh, Thousand Eyes views and uh, path visualization feature. Uh, this uh, powerful feature uh, provides a detailed uh, visual representation of uh, network paths and uh, performance metrics, uh, making it easier to identify and troubleshoot issues. Also, having such uh, insights, our customers are able to identify uh, points where they can optimize their applications and networks, providing the best experience for their users. Now let's talk about open telemetry. Uh, before we proceed, I would like to ask you a question. Uh, how many of you know of or currently use open telemetry? Well, that's uh, some uh, hands, which is uh, Good to see, it's good to know that uh, such a powerful technology is being used. But uh, for others, let me uh, do a quick uh, overview of open telemetry. So what is open telemetry? Open telemetry is, uh, <coughs> is an obs uh, observability framework and toolkit, which was designed to create and manage uh, telemetry data, such as traces, metrics, and logs. Open telemetry can be integrated with uh, popular, popular libraries and uh, frameworks, meaning that you can start uh, using it with pretty much any code base you have currently. Open telemetry also is open source, vendor and tool agnostic, meaning that it can be integrated with a variety of observability backends, including uh, open source, uh, tools like Jagger or Prometheus, as well as uh, commercial offerings. When we talk about open telemetry, we call it an observability framework. But what is observability? Observability is the ability to understand the internal state of a system by examining its outputs. In the context of a software, it means the ability to understand the internal state of a system by examining its uh, telemetry data, such as tra uh, traces, metrics, and log. To make a system observable, it must be instrumented first. That is, the code uh, must, emit, uh, uh, must emit traces, metrics, and logs. Uh, that instrumented data must be then uh, sent to an observability backend. And Open Telemetry has a very nice mission, which is to enable effective observability by making high quality portable telemetry ubiquitous. Uh, the purpose of Open Telemetry is to collect, process, and export uh, signals. Uh, signals are uh, system outputs. Uh, that uh, descri describe underlay uh, underlying state, uh, underlying activity of, uh, of the operating system and applications uh, running on a platform. 
As of today, uh, OpenTelemetry supports uh, three types of uh, signals, which are metrics, logs, and traces. Metrics, uh, metric is a measurement of a system uh, captured at the runtime. Uh, logs are timestamp uh, text records, uh, either structured, which is a recommended approach, or unstructured with some optional metadata. And of all, the, of all the signals, logs have the biggest legacy. And I think we all know what logs are, we'll use them. And traces. Traces are paths of a request, and traces give us a big picture of what happens when a request is made to an application. Before we switch to how we use gRPC and OpenTelemetry, I just wanted to mention that Today, uh, there is a session on open telemetry in Code Lab. You might want to attend it uh, to, understand, to learn more about open telemetry as it's very nice and powerful technology to use. So now let's switch to how we use gRPC and open telemetry at Cisco Thousand Eyes. Uh, here, I would like to walk you through our infrastructure step by step. At first, uh, as I mentioned before, uh, test, uh, agents execute tests periodically and send re test results back to Thousand Eyes platform. Those test results are then communicated f using Kafka with our services. Uh, and next, our open telemetry collectors receive uh, those test metrics from Kafka, and those test metrics are encoded uh, using protocol buffers. Additionally, we have a separate service, a metadata service, which uh, collects and caches uh, some additional data from uh, Thousand Eyes platform. This data includes information like test name, for example, and this uh, service plays a crucial role in enriching data. Different components of uh, our open telemetry, open telemetry pipeline communicate with the metadata service uh, using gRPC uh, to, uh, retrieve, uh, to retrieve additional data and enrich test metrics as they pass through the pipeline. And uh, at the end, that uh, filtered and enriched data is sent to our customers uh, using gRPC or HTTP. That ensures that our customers receive detailed real-time data and insights into their applications and network, uh, network's performance. To handle uh, scale and complexity of uh, our operations, we use a multiple uh, pipelines approach. Let me explain. First, uh, we have a so-called uh, tests pipeline. That pipeline receives uh, metrics from uh, Kafka using Kafka receivers. Then it uh, filters irrelevant data and uh, enri enriches data with uh, data taken uh, from uh, metadata service. And at the end, uh, this uh, test pipeline uh, exports uh, those test metrics using OTLP gRPC exporter. And the next pipeline is so-called integrations pipeline. That pipeline receives uh, test metrics using OTLP gRPC receivers. It then finds the associated integration to determine what was configured by, uh, by a user, including such, uh, data, such uh, data like protocol and endpoint where it should send, uh, uh, send the data. And at the end of integrations pipeline, Custom OTLP routing component uh, creates an exporter and sends uh, data to the customer using OTLP gRPC, OTLP HTTP, or Splunk hack format. <clears throat> to ensure uh, 
to ensure uh, reliability of uh, communications between our services, we use gRPC with uh, protocol buffers. Let me break this into two key points. First, uh, we facilitate uh, communications between, uh, between uh, services using gRPC with protocol buffers. That means that all communicated data is strongly typed. That is, uh, strict schema is enforced, which uh, reduces uh, chances of errors and ensures data integrity as, an, as it passes. Additionally, gRPC supports streams natively, which allows us to uh, handle uh, real-time data efficiently. And protocol buffers. We use a separate repository for all our proto files in which we uh, define schemas for our data, our data definitions. Uh, this centralized uh, repository ensures that uh, ensures consistency and ease of management of our data definitions. Then, uh, uh, then packages for all languages we use are built automatically from that repository and pushed to uh, our internal artifactory, streamlining our data process and uh, ensuring that we uh, that our services use the latest data definitions. By using gRPC with protocol buffers, we uh, achieve high performance, reliability, and maintainability in our communication infrastructure. Now I. I would like to show you how easy it is to use uh, gRPC streams uh, as it one of main features of gRPC which we rely on. First of all, we need to define a service which, uh, pro which has a method uh, which provides uh, stream data. Here, as an example, we have a metadata service which has a method called uh, getTests, and that uh, method getTests uh, returns a stream of test responses. And here we have uh, a server-side example with uh, Java, uh, Java service uh, as, a, as an example. And in this example, we use uh, Project Reactor's Flux to uh, handle and uh, stream uh, the real-time data. So as you can see, the request uh, parameter has the flux method, which allows us to easily process and uh, stream the data. Uh, this allows us to handle uh, real-time data reactively, ensuring that uh, ensuring uh, performant and scalable uh, processing on the server side. And uh, for client side, uh, we have uh, Go service as an example. All interfaces used by uh, that uh, service are generated automatically from uh, proto files, from our definitions. And uh, here we have a metadata service client interface, uh, which has one of methods uh, get tests as we defined it before. And that get test method uh, returns another interface, a client interface. Uh, here it is called metadata service get, ser get test client. And that client uh, interface provides receive method, which is used to receive the streaming data. Then we call this uh, receive method uh, in a loop to continuously receive the streaming responses from a server. And uh, that setup allows us to efficiently handle uh, real-time data on the client side, uh, ensuring that uh, we can process the streaming responses as they arrive. No need to send a big bunch of data at once. So as we come to the end of uh, our presentation, I want to thank you all uh, for your time and attention. <laughs> it was a pleasure for me to speak in front of you. Today we briefly discussed uh, how we use gRPC and uh, OpenTelemetry at uh, Thousand Eyes. 
to uh, power our data streams. I hope you find this uh, presentation informative and valuable. If you have any questions or you would like to discuss any of uh, these topics, please feel free to reach out and thank you.